just thought I'd do a really brief um, video. I am sitting out at the park. I came out here to work on my window covers, just watching traffic come in. Lots of RVs out here today, uh, which is kind of interesting considering this is not a place that you can camp. <laughs> Whatever, none of my business. Um, anyway, so I came out here to work on cutting window covers and while I was here I thought like, you know, let me just actually get in the car and see what it feels like uh, to sit out here because it's a nice rainy day. Is uh, I don't know if you can hear the rain. Can you hear it? Anyway, um, it's raining and uh, the windows got real fogged up so I got in the car and I was like, well now that the windows are all foggy and I don't have to be self-conscious about people watching me, I'm going to just play around inside of the car and see, um, you know, how this is going to be once everything is inside, I guess. Uh, everything is not inside, so it doesn't give me a truly clear idea, but it gives me enough. So I already have my bed in here for the most part. I have to do the pillow for where my head is going to go. Um, but actually being back here, I can see, um, I can see just how I need to adjust the bed like is it feels like it's tilted a little bit and it's leaning forward just a little bit because the back is slightly higher than the front where the bed is so I'm tilted downwards which is definitely not going to work if I sleep with my head behind the driver's seat instead of with my head in the trunk space um, so I'm going to need to find a way to level that out or just sleep with my head in the back is really not a problem I probably could flip the no, I can't flip the bed around. That's why I put it in here the way I put it in here. <laughs> but anyway, I guess I'll just flip the camera around so you can see um, what the inside is looking like. If I can find the button to rotate the camera, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. I've only had this phone for who knows how long and I don't know how to actually use it. So give me a moment here. The car is a little messy right now, but you can see I took my shoes off, so I was climbing around in one dirty shoes coming all around because I back up the carpet in here. It's nice and clean. Need to do some dusting. Um, I'm using a cheap, like, $1 um, shower curtain. I took that out, pinned it in the windows to trace the windows to do the reflectix. There is the reflective material right there. The brand is actually ever built. I got it from the Home Depot. They didn't have reflectix, and it's cheaper, but the are pretty much uh, just as good so uh, just some stuff in here that's gonna come out eventually well maybe not those are my wheel chocks for when I service my car so I might leave those in here a uh, little fire extinguisher want to have that considering I told up my last car setting it on fire <laughs> that's a story um, just some other little things this is how I've decided to do my trunk so super small space but I've taken my spare tire out of the wheel well that's under here um, because I wanted the car to be as low inside as possible so that um, I could do my bed and have head head space um, I wanted as much head room as I could possibly get which meant making the interior as low as possible because it's not a very tall car so anyway I took the tire out so I could take that foam block that sits under here out um, and that has helped. So the tire is just in here with uh, these like cargo hooks back here I guess. I put bungees here. There's a little um, latch on the other side this is hooked to so that this wheel isn't moving around when I'm driving. This space is also where I'm going to put my laundry bag. So, um, I'm sure someone out there is gonna be like why do you have such a big jack in your car? <laughs> I really like the floor jacks over scissor jacks. I've got my jack stands in here, too um, My little ratchet set is Here it's gonna go back up into this area. Anyway, I prefer having a large floor jack over um, The scissor jack because it's more secure and I just wasn't willing to part ways with it because I love it too much so anyway my laundry bag is going to go right here I've got a narrow canvas mesh bag that can go right in this space for my dirty clothes the head of my bed flips up my seat is in drive mode right now so it flips up like this but when 
it is this way. I am able to sit upright with my legs completely stretched out um, with no problem. So anyway, not a lot. Just thought I'd share that with you. Um, keep you updated on the process. I'll have those window covers made here soon. I am planning on putting a cross on my ceiling um, with LED lights. Just have to get that taken care of. This is a box for something I am going to be shipping later. That is my guardian um, right up there on the dashboard. His name is Guardian. He's the car dickie. <laughs> I have like a little collection of these silicone thermoplastic rubber uh, dicks that have feet and faces and butt cracks. They're crazy. It's crazy. Anyway guys, that's it. Um, not really much to say. I'm just rambling on at this point. So still have some work to do but we are well on our way there's my little inverter down there for the 12 volt cigarette lighter and my little honeywell fan pretty decent air put um, air circulation considering all my windows are rolled up and heavily condensated condensed however you whatever the past tense is for that anyway that's it i'm out talk to you later